When teaching writing, the question I get the most is, what should I write about? Well, today I'm going to share with you some information on how to get ideas for writing personal narratives. This story is going to be all about you. You get to be the star of your story that you are writing. You'll be writing about an experience. Think about a picture of an event in your life that happened recently that you could write about. Then you'll add the details like where were you at? Who were you with? Why were you there? Were you having a birthday party? And what were you doing? Did you go ice skating? You'll add your feelings as you give emotions to your story. The feelings of I had the best time of my life or I was really sad when my dog died. Everyone has a story to tell, even me. This is a story about the rooster and the lie and it's my story to tell. When I was a little girl, I grew up on a farm and it was my job to feed and water the chickens. So every morning before I got dressed for school, I would dress in my chore clothes and go out and get a bucket of grain and a bucket of water and go into the chicken coop. And I would pour it in the trough for the chickens. And every night when I came home from school, I would change out of my school clothes into my chore clothes and do that again. Get a bucket of grain and a bucket of water and go and feed the chickens inside the chicken coop. Well, one morning, a neighbor called, a neighbor boy called to see if I could bring a feather for him to take to school. Well, that morning, I had already done my chores and I was already dressed for school. I had on a really pretty dress for school, but I was happy to do that for a neighbor. So I went outside to the chicken coop to find the perfect feather. I saw it. It was sticking right out of a rooster, almost ready to come off. I looked down on the ground of the chicken coop and I saw lots of feathers, but they were kind of dirty. And this perfect one that was coming right out of a rooster, I thought would be great for my neighbor. So I chased the rooster, but he was very quick. But I didn't give up because I saw another feather almost ready to come out of another rooster. And that looked pretty good too. So I chased the other rooster, always trying to get that feather out that was almost ready to come out of the back of them. And I chased them and chased them and tried to kind of corner those roosters to get that feather. Well, I was almost ready to give up, but I stopped for a second to take a breath. And I looked up, and as I looked up, all the roosters were coming after me and trying to peck my legs. And so I screamed and I kicked my legs and I tried to get away from those roosters as fast as I could. I ran out of that chicken coop and I slammed the door and I picked up a dirty feather along the way that was along the fence and I put it in my pocket and gave it to my neighbor. You might think this story's over, but this story just began. Because when I got home from school that day and I changed out of my clothes into my chore clothes, I went and got the bucket of grain and I got the bucket of water and I stood outside the chicken coop and I was too afraid to go in. And so I took the grain and put it back in the grain bin and threw the water out, and I didn't feed the chickens that night. And when my dad came home, my dad said, Becky, did you feed the chickens tonight? Did you do your chores? And I said, oh, yes. And then the next morning, 
I wanted to be brave again, and I went and got a bucket of grain, I went and got a bucket of water, and I stood outside that chicken coop, but I was too afraid to go in. I knew those chickens would remember me and peck at my legs again. So I didn't feed the chickens that morning either. They went hungry that day, because when I got home from school, my dad met me and said, Becky, did you do your chores this morning? Those chickens were mighty hungry when I went outside, so I fed them again. I thought to myself, thank goodness those chickens didn't starve. But I went outside trying to be brave, got the bucket of grain, the bucket of water, and I couldn't do it. I couldn't go in. And the next day, the same thing happened. But this time, my dad went out to check to see if I did the chores. And when he came in, he said, Becky, did you do your chores this morning? And I said, yes, I did. And he said, I know you didn't. You told a lie. And of course, I put my head down and started to cry because I was caught in the lie, but I tried to be brave but I, was, I knew I was afraid of those chickens. So I told my dad the whole story. And he said, You are in very big trouble for lying to me. Number one. And number two, you will be punished. And I knew I would be punished. And I got a very big spanking that day. And after I got my spanking, My dad sat me down and he said, I know that you're afraid of those chickens. How about if we trade chores with your brother and you feed the horses hay instead? And I never had to feed the chickens again. And I also learned not to lie to my dad ever again. What can you write about? Let's think about some ideas. Holidays, birthdays, vacations, family traditions. Think about what you can write about. You might want to write about your Thanksgiving or Christmas or another holiday. You might want to write about when you went to the beach on your vacation or when you went camping with your family. You might want to write about a birthday party. Maybe it wasn't even your birthday party. Maybe it was your cousin's birthday party. Ask your family about a story that you can write about. Sometimes they have a better memory In my family, my sister always has a better memory of the stories that we always share. 